What's up, America? It's Keith the Trucker. I'm checking in from a little town south of Chicago called Moni, Monet, however you want to pronounce it. Got a couple truck stops here. There's a little fast food restaurant called Culver's, and I've never seen them in any other state than Illinois. They're actually impressive. They have like the consistency of an in and out, and they're just fucking solid. Like every time I get to go there, it's like I'm always impressed. Uh, anyways, uh, I didn't intend to be in Illinois, but here we are. I was so busy yesterday, so tired, drove all throughout the night, 750 miles to get to Chicago yesterday morning, delivered, reloaded, just didn't have time for a video, but I do today and we're going to get into it right now. I'm going to do a very quick recap. Now I told you guys I'm transparent with y'all and March has been a losing month for us after having a very rock solid February of plus 37 units, but we've been on target during this losing streak. I've had, a, I don't know, we could really call a stretch like this where it's just like we're getting hooked all the time or it's just like one play like this, right? So looking at this and re-looking at the lineup, I had these two Hornets down here, then I had Dame, and then I had two Lakers. I already had some Giannis exposure and I already had some Zion exposure. And what I was thinking here is I really wanted one of the forwards against the Sixers. And I just didn't know which one was going to be better, Ingram or Zion. And I already had Zion exposure. It's just unfortunate because if I didn't have him before I set this, I'd probably go him here because I picked him first, obviously. Right. But I'm limited to five bucks. Most of my VIP were able to match uh, the offer that Prize Picks. This was a Flex Friday play, so uh, that means twenty bucks for most of my VIP. They doubled up their lineup, so that is good. We also got hooked on, jeez, uh, what was it? It was um, this one right here. Yeah, this one stung, guys. He had a really good first half. I think he was at 9 or maybe even 10. And then he just wasn't really involved in the second half. And it was a pretty close game until the fourth quarter started. Like, it was actually kind of crazy because this did not look like a good play at halftime. Like, at all. And then this guy just shit the bed in the second half. So, uh, yeah, one RA short of a almost 6X hit. That stings a little. And then we had... Um, this play, I, this was actually the last one I sent out to VIP. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I went with this. I mean, I saw it on a um, stat site, and he had said he had hit it in three out of four, I believe, and LeBron was out, so, like, you know, like, there may be more rebounding opportunities for for uh, guards, you know. He just, he barely even played. I don't even, I don't even know what the hell happened. Um, so the Bucks just like rolled their starters out or something. I don't fucking know. But anyway, we had another one too that, uh, just barely missed a, um, so what I started doing on these, is I'm starting to do the insurance. See down here, how it says insured $25 entry. So what that does, uh, in football, I probably wouldn't do it, but in the NBA, I'm just tired of seeing these four out of five slips and it, the NBA is so inconsistent. So I think it's the best thing to do on underdog because they have a industry leading 2.5 X return on these. So this lineup should have netted me like 6250, I believe is what it ended up paying out, which is pretty good for getting four out of five. Right. And then if you happen to get this right, it still pays 10 X. So that's still pretty solid. It's better than price picks. Price picks gives two X back on a six man. I think on the five mans, they might even give less than that. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can, let me know in the comments. I kind of stopped caring about that site because they uh, they don't really value me as a customer. They limit me to 25 bucks a day. So anyway, there was that one, and that was pretty much some of the close losses. Now, I have, um, I have a couple plays for you guys. Let's talk about this one first, and I forgot to actually send one over. Um, so we got Luca PR line, and I lowered it. You see how the multiplier only says 1.39, and normally it'd be up here like 1.62 or probably even 1.78. I believe it's at 44 <coughs> and a half is what it actually is. Okay. And then Cade is the only line I didn't adjust on this. 
1.53 is made. He's done this in four out of five, I believe. And this is a pretty good spot. Uh, there's nothing that's scary about Dallas. I actually really like this game. I think it could be like the game to target today. And then Kyrie Irving, uh, I lowered this all the way down to uh, 3.5. Hopefully he gets it. Um, he's been getting five a game, so feel pretty good about this. Most people had the line at, uh, underdog had it at 5.0. Um, chalkboard had it at 4.5. I lowered it down one to kind of boost up the, the pay just a little bit. And the whole idea here is this is a $25 bet to win 64.25, right? So take a screenshot of that. If you're not on chalkboard yet, we'll talk about that in a second, but I'm going to show you play two on chalkboard so you can see the, the, the idea here. Okay. So let me see if I can make that a little smaller. It doesn't need to be quite that big. There we go. Okay. So this is also a $25 bet. And if this play fails, then we'd have $50 in. But if the other one that I lowered the lines that I think has a much higher hit rate, still wins we make like what fit like about 15 bucks in profit still right at 25 dollars a unit but i feel pretty damn good about this utah and detroit are like triple double machines right like these guys like washington too you know these guys like jokic could have you know a subpar scoring day like he may, he may not even need to score uh but still have like a 16 12 you know 13 line or something right i mean and then this guy's triple double three in a row. He's like all in playoff mode right now. So I, I, I really like this play today. I, I, I have a very strong feeling we cash it. Now I did get a better multiplier over here on chalk than I did on sleeper. I originally set this and I was like, you know what? I better go check real quick. <coughs> I went and canceled my sleeper lineup because they'll give you five minutes or 10 minutes to do that. And, uh, yeah, I got a little bit better uh, multiplier here. So hopefully that will hit. I feel like we're just due for a big day. And the way I run my slips, guys, is that, you know, we're, we're in a negative month right now. But we have uh, the ability in one night, two nights, to get hot, get a big night, and our wins just crush our losses. So this was the first play I sent out. And remind you, uh, those uh, first, the, uh, the last two, um, the triple double play in this one, I actually set these out last night on winnable. You would have had this for 10 hours already, maybe even 12. So we're targeting this game again, right? Dallas Troy told you guys I like this. We're taking Duran for rebounds over. We're taking Cade Cunningham to hit his PRA line. Um, this game, they're both like top six in pace. So there should be a lot of opportunities here. And then we got Daniel Gafford, um, I don't know why they don't play this guy a little more. I mean, he's clearly right now at this stage of their careers better than the uh, other kid. I think his name's Lively. But this is a good scoring matchup um, for everyone involved. I, I just think there should be fireworks in this game, hopefully. If it was in Dallas, I wouldn't like it as much. But the fact that it's in Detroit, I don't mind it at all. And then we're just taking Luca on his straight PRA line because he's been obliterating this. It's like a huge number, but then he just keeps going for like 60 plus. So, you know, by the, you know, close to the playoffs, don't be shocked if this is like at 58 and a half, because that's just what Luca is doing right now. And then Paul George, um, <coughs> I kind of like him and Harden under today. Harden's a harder one to bet against because he can like light up the peripherals pretty good. And he, you know, he's kind of just like, I don't want to say he's like immune to uh, tough matchups, but he kind of just is that player. Like he gets to the foul line a lot. Paul George, a little more traditional wing scorer, um, catch and shoot, you know, at this stage of his career a little more. Uh, the Bulls play tough defense, you know, they've been playing pretty damn well, actually. And I just feel good about the lower today. I don't know why. So I, I threw this in there. If you don't like this play, just play this as a four man for 10 X. But what I did was I, I threw them one more piece in, feel really good about the this game right here, right? And then I just insured it. So we're getting 10x anyways. And then if this misses, we still get 2.5x back. So that'd be 62.50 for a $25 unit better. So that's what I got for you all today. Three total free plays. Hopefully we can get hot, guys. Trust me. I know how some of these guys feel now, like when, you know, like, uh, there's a few guys I follow. I watch, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, just a bet outside. I really like that guy's show. Um, I think he puts a lot of time, a lot of effort into the, uh, to the production that he does. I think he does a lot of good statistical analysis 
and you know he makes it fun you know he's just i i like watching his show hopefully you guys feel the same about me because i ramble on sometimes we're at uh 10 minutes now so but um you know i i hate having to like literally watch him come on screen every day and be like guys like <laughs> it's the fucking nba and it is man like it just fucking sucks we get in these slumps and you think you figured it out at this stage of the season like how it's gonna go and then it just just fucking throw throw a wrench in it you know it's like it doesn't doesn't always cooperate and then what's even more frustrating and i think i've even heard him because i I listen to some other guys that i like when i drive down the road i kind of i always want to know what other people are thinking you know you always want other minds involved because you could get so keen on something but then you might hear somebody else have a drastically different opinion about it and you always want to absorb information you always want to hear opinions that's smart that's what uh you know all, all of us should be doing always so but he's right and it has been a little brutal start to this month not just for him but i've watched other guys that are in the same boat it's just like we're all getting hooked on plays and they they're more of like straight betters anyways over there like they i mean he does like a little parlay and stuff and um anyway guys that's what i'm trying to tell you is that slumps don't last forever i've i've seen this i've gone through the roller coaster and the month of february when we made 37 plus units it was a little under a grand for me um we uh we absolutely did it on the back of a few big nights and we haven't had one of those yet this month so just trust the process it will come and the good news is uh the nba and its inconsistencies we won't have to be getting frustrated and betting on it forever i like doing it because i like betting on sports but anytime i bet on anything I always look for an edge. I don't just go in there and recklessly start throwing shit around. If I put a play out to you guys, I really believe it has a good shot of hitting. So keep the truckers out. I can, I'm going to Joplin, Missouri today. I considering like just driving a little farther into Oklahoma because it's so much more DFS friendly. Missouri is literally like one of the worst states. So I'll have to make that decision. I do like staying in Joplin. It's kind of a cool trucker town. The world's second biggest truck stops there and they got a good restaurant and I don't, you know, I don't get to eat a lot of like home cooked style meals very often anymore out here. They just kind of shove fast food in our face and Denny's, you know, not a big Denny's fan. Peace out guys. Let's make some fucking money today.